Hey, what's going on everyone? In this quick video, I'm going to share with you several different tips and tricks on how you can fix the personal hotspot on your iPhone device. So quickly, just before I do get stuck into the fixes, uh, depending on what carrier you are with, uh, they may actually block the ability to not use a personal hotspot. So if you go into settings on your iPhone device and go down to personal hotspot, and if this is actually grayed out, this means that you actually do not have the ability under unfortunately on your current service provider. So kicking off with my first step, and this is by far one of the most obvious, um, but this really does fix around 80% of all issues that you may be having with your iPhone device, and that is to go ahead and do a hard restart on your iPhone. And this will remove any temporary glitches or issues that you may be encountering. So if you have the iPhone 6 or later, you can easily restart your device by pressing the home button and the lock screen button for around 30 seconds, or until the device reboots. And if you have the iPhone 7, you can restart your device by pressing the volume down and the lock screen button together for around 30 seconds. And if you have the iPhone 8 or above, you can restart by pressing volume up, down and the power button in quick succession. And this will go ahead and restart your iPhone and you just wanna keep press and holding. Okay guys, so the next thing you can try is to actually go ahead and reset the device that you are trying to connect to. Um, so from my own personal experience, I've found that the iPhone um, can be working perfectly fine, um, but in some instances like my own, the actual MacBook is not connecting um, correctly to the iPhone. So I can just simply go ahead and restart my computer, laptop, um, iPad or console, and this should hopefully um, fix the issue and allow you to reconnect to your personal hotspot. So the next fix you can try is to actually connect to your personal hotspot via the lightning charging cable um, to your iPhone. So this will obviously only work when you're trying to connect to a computer. And from my own experience, this has worked really well. And especially if there's been any issues or bugs with the Wi-Fi or Bluetooth chip on the iPhone, um, this is just another way on how to connect your personal hotspot. And it's one that I really do forget about quite often. Um, so it definitely is worth trying if the personal hotspot spot is still not working for you. So the next fix you can try is to actually go ahead and turn airplane mode on and off again. And say for example you've been into an area where there's um, poor cell phone reception or maybe even a dead spot for service. This can actually cause some connection issues for your iPhone device. So one of the best ways to do a quick reset of this is just to slide up from the bottom of your screen to the control panel. And if you're on the iPhone 10 or above you can slide down from the bottom right hand corner. And once you're here you just want to go ahead and turn airplane mode on and you can also go ahead and turn the Wi-Fi off as well and then you can go ahead and toggle that back off as well so this should hopefully um, regain the connectivity um, over your cellular network and you can also go ahead and retry this method a couple of times as this has strangely worked um, quite well for many iPhone users out there Okay guys, so another awesome trick that you can try, and this is more specific for those that have a VPN connected on either their computer or their iPhone. So you just want to ensure that this is turned off before you do connect to the personal hotspot, as this can actually cause a few glitches and issues for connecting. So to fix this, you can just go and open your VPN, and you just want to go ahead and disconnect this. And also, if you are connected to a VPN on your computer, you also want to ensure that that is turned off as well. So the next fix you can try is to go ahead and reset the network settings on your iPhone. So this is a really awesome way on how to remove any temporary glitches or issues that may be occurring over the Wi-Fi or cellular network. And just be warned before you do um, this step, you will lose all of your saved Wi-Fi networks and passwords and also Bluetooth devices as well. So you just wanna make sure that you do write down any uh, Wi-Fi passwords before you do follow along with this step. So you can go into settings and then you can go down to general and then you can go down to reset and once you're in here you just want to go ahead and press reset network settings and then you just want to go ahead and put in your passcode to confirm those changes and that will go ahead and restart your device and once it turns back on you just want to go ahead and try and reconnect to your personal hotspot. So the next fix you can try is to actually go ahead and check for any carrier or service updates. And this is very easily done by going into settings. And then you wanna scroll down to general. And then you want to go to about. 
And if there is a service update from your carrier, this will take around 5 to 10 seconds to pop up. Um, however, if it doesn't pop up, that means there's no um, updates to be had. Okay guys, so the very last step you can try to resolve the uh, personal hotspot issue is to actually go ahead and update your iOS. So depending on the iPhone model you have and also the software that it is running, there actually may be a conflict between those two. So you just want to go ahead and update to the most recent version of iOS as this should hopefully um, remedy any kind of temporary glitches or bugs that there might be in the software. So you can easily check for software updates by going to general and then go to software update and if this is highlighted in blue you can just go ahead and press this and this will download and, and install the most recent software update. So there you have it guys, there's a few simple tips and tricks that you can try on getting your personal hotspot working again. So if any of these fixes did work for you or maybe you've come up with your own, uh, please share it down below in the comment section as you'll be help as you'll be helping many other iPhone users out there. So as always, thanks for watching, I'll see you all in the next one.